Ah, let's talk some story from Romy, okay? Is it a good one or not? Okay, oh, this is a story about Noah. You remember Noah? He, he made a boat, a big boat. Yeah, okay. This something about his son. You know, how it is like in the family, yeah? Uh, in Vietnam, we say the, the family Buddha doesn't respond. I mean, they don't respect the family Buddhas. Like, if you are somebody, you are nobody at home. Hmm? I remember a joke in America, very funny. You know, the father of this president, George Bush. George Bush. George Bush. And this is George W. Bush. Yeah, that's right, yeah. George Bush, yeah. He was knighted by the Queen of England. All of you knew? No. no. So famous and don't know? Okay, anyway, he was knighted. And then when he came back, his wife said to him, you know, Miss Barbara Bush said to him, <laughs> George, make me a coffee. So he said to her, I'm knighted, you know. I'm Sir George Bush, you know. So she said, OK, Sir George Bush, make me a coffee. <laughs> Sir George Bush, make me a coffee. <laughs> yeah. So here is a story about the son of Noah, yeah? that he doesn't really listen to his father. Yeah, okay, now. Uh, the, the master Rumi yeah, said to his disciples, don't be like Canaan. Canaan, no? Not Cain, Cain is another guy. Yeah? Canaan Abel is another one. <laughs> Canaan, grandson of Noah. Don't be like him. Okay, why? He's telling now. Okay because he wouldn't get into the ark, the ark that his father built at that emergency time, remember? Because he doesn't believe his father. Yeah, as I told you, the Buddha family is not responsive. It doesn't mean he doesn't respond, it's just that they don't believe that he would respond. Yeah, the family member. Yeah, okay. Well, I have some similar stuff in my family, but it's less than this. <laughs> <laughs> it's better, okay? Yeah. My father, he stopped smoking at seventy something just because of me. Yeah, he did it all by himself. I never said anything. <laughs> After we met, then he told me he did it. I said, "Ah, oh, thank you, Bob. Very good of you." <laughs> yes. And I asked him whether it was difficult for him to stop smoking. He said, "No, no, it's easy." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for you, I do anything, as I said. Yes. So cute. Yeah. Okay, now. Canaan. Noah's son wouldn't get into the ark. Yeah? He was swimming and saying, I hate my father. I won't use that boat. I mean the boat that he built. Noah called out to his son, say, Come, son, sit in this that I have made, or you will drown. No, the son said. And then the, the father said again, Don't do it, Canaan. This flood extinguishes all candles of human ingenuity. Only God's candle can make it through these waves. Stop your arrogant claims and get in, his father said to him. Uh, so he said, No, no, no. I can make it to that mountain top. The sun said, I'll be safe there. I can make it all alone. Mountains are just bits of straw in this storm. There's no refuge except with God's beloved. That's what his father said. Noah said to his son like that. Mountains are not even safe. Yeah. The son thought that if he swim, he can swim, you see? And if he swim to that mountain top, he'll be safe. So he don't need the father, that's what he said. But the father say, no, no, only God blessing can save us. Mountain is nothing at this time. It's such a big deluge. So the son said again, when have I ever take your advice? <laughs> yeah. So your words mean nothing to me. 
in either world, leave me alone. I mean, in this world or the next world. So leave me alone, he said. Oh, little father. He said, little father. Okay. So Noah continued saying to his son, Until now you have shown contempt for me and for God. Wow. You guys know very well, huh? Some of you, right? The son doesn't listen, right? It's a pain. Ah, so don't do this. This is no time for self-conceit. Until now you have shown contempt for me and for God, but now God is showing disdain. Be careful. Your disdain means nothing to God. Oh, God is not begotten. God has said, Young men, don't strut. Old men, don't get proud. Husband, be modest. Lady, I'm not coy. God tell everybody different thing, you know, like young man, don't be too proud. Father, don't be arrogant, etc., etc. All that helps in my presence is utter and complete helplessness. Oof. Kenan reply I mean nothing to him. He won't listen anyway. Yeah. So, father, you have been saying this for years. You must be insane to think that I will listen to you now. It's so familiar, no? To some of you, yeah. This family quarreling stuff that everybody knows, yeah. But many people consider that having a lot of sons, a lot of daughter, are really blessing, huh? Maybe if they are good to you, huh, Bobo? Are you feeling the blessing of being a father now, or oh, still the same? No, actually, um, uh, better now. Yeah, a lot better. Oh, good. Wait, okay, here come. Hmm. Can I continue? I have my own wisdom. Uh, I don't need your tiresome preaching. But the father said, but what harm will it do, my son, to listen just a little longer? <laughs> I mean, he's been speaking the same thing for years, so just listen once more time. How would it hurt you, you know? But the... Son, just don't listen. And so, father, son, father, son, back and forth, back and forth. You know, yes, no, yes, no, si, si, no, no, na, na, ya, ya, you know, <laughs> like that. While the water keep rising up, huh? Oh, my God, what an ego. Suddenly a wave came that buried Canaan and tore him to pieces. Oh, God, that was too quick. Huh? That was too quick, they didn't prepare us. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the story I told you about the cat? First the cat was on the roof and then the fireman come and all that. I should have said something. You know, like Canaan was on the roof and then... <laughs> 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 Slowly, you know, they didn't prepare us. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> kind of master room he was. He didn't prepare nothing, you know, this just poof. He, Ah, oh, die. Never, never mind. It's not a fun thing, yeah, to laugh at, but it happened already, so now. <sighs> what do we do next? Okay. Noah said in prayer, My Lord and King, you have taken this one from me, in the sun, huh? yet many times you promised that my family would be saved. So God answered, Kenan was not one of yours, huh? <laughs> Different father now. No, no, I'm kidding. Kenan <laughs> was not one of yours. Can't you see that he is blue and you are white? I mean black, dark color, huh? Blue. Well, sometimes... <laughs> See, black and blue, they always go together, so either of them is okay. God meant that, you know, the spiritual color is different, you know? When you practice well, the color of your light is white or golden yeah? or rainbow color. If you don't practice well, 
your color is black or blue. Dark blue, eh? Very dark blue. Almost black, you know? Or coffee. Or mixed, no? muddy. So probably God refers to that, hey? Okay? Uh, when a tooth is rotten, God continue, huh? Pull it out. It's not a tooth anymore. It's decay. Yeah? If you don't, you know, pull the teeth out, the rest of your body will be miserable. Oh, it's truly like that. I know that from my dog. Be rid of it, even though it was once yours. Ah, that's what he meant. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's true like that. You know, very sweet. No problem. So how does God know about this tooth stuff? I wonder if he has tooth. <laughs> he must have teeth, eh? <laughs> yeah, now we discover God has teeth. <laughs> Or else, how he knows, bad, right? Huh? Bad teeth as well. Bad teeth as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just wonder why he has bad teeth. Tell me, Bubble. How you know that? Oh yeah. Otherwise, how would he knows, right? What? Maybe too many sugar. Maybe he's eating too many. <laughs> ah, we always offer things to God before we eat. Oh, this a guy. <laughs> You know, all the good things that we have, you know, the forbidden stuff we offer to God first, you know. Some of you offer hoping that your teeth will not have problem eating too many chocolates. Always offer God, you know. Always offer to Him, no? No wonder, eh? Yeah, okay. But He didn't have to eat it. I mean, we can offer, but He didn't have to. So the guy has no discipline, eh? <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, we just have a little fun. <laughs> Can you take a joke? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. And Noah replied to God, saying that, I am rid of everything but your essence. You know how I am with you. At the garden is with the rain. And twenty times that, you know, the garden needs the rain. Yeah, that's what he means. Well, this is a story in the uh, Arab world, right? So, you know what rains means to them, huh? And the garden, all that. so it must be really, really, truly, truly necessary. God, no? God is truly necessary for him. And here, we would say what? The sun, right? <laughs> we would say, I am with you like the sun, <laughs> with the garden. Yeah, because here we don't have sun, right? We have too much rain sometimes. So it's a different thing, okay? Don't say why. God is only likened unto the rain to Noah. Yeah, because this is a desert world over there, right? Yeah, but at that time it rains a lot. Still, he cannot get, he cannot forget about the time that you know there no rain. That that was a different time. Yeah, the whole world was flooded anyway. Yeah, only that one time, eh? So, twenty times that, you know, the rain, I mean, God is more important to him twenty times more than the rain for the garden, that's what he means. Yeah. Now, living in you, uh, rejoicing in you, like a beggar receiving, receiving all he needs directly from wealth itself with no one's hand in between, not united, not separated. Perfection, no quality, no description, no cause. I mean, He and God completely one. Huh? One and not one. They don't feel separation, they don't feel united. This is a kind of Samari feeling. Yeah? Yeah? You know, right? Okay. okay. Before the flood and after it, every word I say is of you. In you, from you, as a woman speaks night and day with the ruins of her beloved, where now she lives in perpetual conversation. Oh, that's too philosophical, you know. <laughs> but this is an old, old writing, you know, and they translated direct, so it's, uh, you know, like that, no? I mean, as a woman who has been separated from her beloved and now. So they together, you know, again, and talking, talking, yeah. 
A lover seems to be facing a wreckage, but I hear the song of praise coming back from the ruins, an echo of your name, I mean God's name. Uh, I love your name. I love it double. That's why the prophets love the mountains, uh, because of the echoes. Little low hills won't do. They don't send your name back to me when I say it. You know, I mean, only big mountain echo uh, God's name. Wow, he's so romantic, this guy. To so talk about God huh? and say, God, Noah, Noah. I will raise Canaan and all these others from the dead, if you wish. I don't want you to grieve. Oh, now God feel, you know, He prays Him so much, so He relents, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think Noah say? Did you read the Bible? Mm -mm. Okay, guess. Just, no. No, no. Drown me as well, he said. Drown me too, I mean, Noah. Drown me too. Uh, keep drowning me every moment. Your will is my joy. You make happiness. I am grateful. I carry it with me as my soul. I only see you. I'm in love with whatever your creating does. You make happiness. I'm grateful. You make disaster, and I am patient. Anyone who loves your making is full of glory. Anyone who loves what you have made is not a true believer. Do you understand the last sentence? Anyone who loves your making is full of glory. Anyone who loves what you have made is not a true believer. That's so plain, like your nose. <laughs> he means whatever he's making, continue making, it's okay. But like whatever he made already, like you love the creation of God, you know, the Creator. Okay, you cling to the house, to the husband, to the wife, to sons and daughter, you know, he's already made things. It's not true believer, it's an attachment. You mm -hmm. Well, He means is that whatever happened, whatever God sent them any moment is okay. Mm. Yeah? So even if he make disaster, like um, drown his son or something like that, that is a new making, you see? And anything that made already like, you know, the earth, the possession, the house, the relative, the friend, this already made. And if you love and attach to them, you're not really loving God, you see? So, if God, whatever God does, any moment you love it, and that's okay. That means the making. Do you understand now? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Well. That's beautiful, Master. Beautiful, huh? I love that. The way Noah's devotion to God is so beautiful. Yeah, I know. That's why God tell him to make the ark and drown everybody else. The way Noah talked to God is really touching and beautiful. Very, very, yeah. Yeah, anyway, that's what it means, eh? We can also laugh at death, there's no big deal anymore, yeah? After we know God, no? Where will we go? It's the same. Hmm? Take this body or another body, okay? While we are there having this body, we enjoy the cakes and the chocolate. Or we have another body, we enjoy something else, okay? No big deal. All right. It's not really a joke, but sometimes we, we laugh at our stuff, you know? <laughs> We love it, God. We love it, us. It doesn't matter. Okay, cool, guys? Mm -hmm.